Now that you've got our rice nice and warmed up, you're gonna break it up a little bit and make sure that it's got a nice, even consistency here. And then you're gonna come in with some rice vinegar. Give it a little bit of splash. This will help get your sticky rice a little less sticky, but still have a great flavor. I went ahead and went with a microwavable rice, but feel free to go ahead and make your own. The rice vinegar will also help create a little bit of a stickiness as well. So once you get that nice and broken up, you're then gonna mash it all down and create your bed, your little rice bed here. Perfect. It's going nice and even. All right, so now that we've got that nice and flat, you're gonna go ahead and push that off to the side. And I'm gonna then bring in our bowl. So now that we've got our bowl, we're gonna start with some softened cream cheese. This will make your cream cheese a little sticky. So you're gonna go ahead and plop that in there. And then I'm gonna come in with some flake style imitation crab meat. So I'm gonna go in with my hands that have been washed and go ahead and drop in some good amount of imitation meat. And I'm gonna kinda just shred it up with my fingers and get it nice and broken up. Mmm, this looks so good. Yeah, I love imitation crab meat. I think it's so yummy. I could even eat it by itself. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So once you've gotten it shredded a little bit, you're going to then move on to your toppings, which we'll all mix together here. And I'm going to start with some mayonnaise. There are a couple different kinds that you can use. I went ahead and went with olive oil mayonnaise, and you're just gonna get a good heaping amount of that. Mm. Next, you're gonna come in with some sriracha. Oh yes. Sriracha, sriracha. Perfect. And so once you've gotten that in there, you're gonna give it a nice mix. You want all of this to be nicely coated with the cream cheese and all of those toppings. They're still trying to swim on out of the bowl. Mm -hmm. mm. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so give it a nice mix. Get it all meshed in together. Yep, keep going. And you can add more crab meat if you need it. All right, now that that is nice and tossed up, look at how yummy. Mm. We're gonna bring our rice back into the picture and dump all of that yummy, yummy side into our pan. Oh, it's so good. Doesn't it? It is, smells so good as well. I'm telling you, I'm making a mess with it. All right, so now that we've got that, you're gonna go ahead and push this down on top of your rice. Go ahead and get all that rice covered with your meat. Perfect. Yum, 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 almost there. Oh, I cannot wait to get this in my belly. Perfect, so now that that's nice and coated, I'm gonna get the excess off my fork. Don't wanna miss any of that. Okay, I'm gonna actually put some over here because I've got some rice showing. Awesome. So now that that's nice and coated, I'm gonna come back in with my sriracha and give it a nice coating. Pretty. Yes. And the same with my mayonnaise. Can never have too much mayonnaise. No, you cannot. So this doesn't have to be a lot. This is just gonna be a thin layer. And then I like to go ahead and add some sesame seeds to mine. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit of sesame seeds on top here. Ooh. Perfection. And now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set your oven at oh, four. Your green onions? Uh-uh, those go on at the end. Oh, okay. You don't cook Same them. thing with the seaweed? You, those are just to add as a tape. Oh yeah, I could top up the, the, but yeah. yeah, that's gonna be at the end. Okay. All right, <clears throat> and action. So now that this is nicely topped, we're gonna to stick it in the oven for about 400 degrees. 
and probably about 20 minutes or so, and then it'll be ready to eat. Yum, so quick. And there we have it. So yummy. Yum, that so looks good. delicious. Absolutely delicious. So now that we've got our lovely, lovely baked sushi, I'm gonna come in with some scallions and just chop them up as a topping. Just kind of crush, crush, crush. These are on their last leg, so we're gonna use them up. Perfect, they have been washed. So now that that's on there, I am going to come in with some seaweed. So I like to go ahead and crumble up my seaweed on top. You can go ahead and do it as a little bit of a roll or however you'd like it, but I wanna make sure that I have a little bit with the bites. So I just kind of top it off just like that. Perfect, that looks so good and I cannot wait to dig in. So, I don't know where I want the best part to be. I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Oh my God. I am so excited. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> wow. Oh yes, look at that layer. OMG. Oh my gosh, it's like all stuck together. It's so perfectly done. So good. Oh, I'm gonna just use this and just take a nice big bite. It's still hot because it just came out, so. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Run to make this. Don't walk. Oh my god. Mmm.